audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading. Now Scorpio, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign as well, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Scorpio, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Scorpio, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which one and let me know how it was an aha moment for you because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments and if you do find a card that resonates with you uh Scorpio I'd really appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and you know I know you don't have to do it right but it is completely free so I do enjoy uh I do really appreciate when you guys take the time to do that for me um, and finally, Scorpio, this reading's here just to give some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine. I'm just here to hopefully provide some food for thought a and a perspective to consider as you go throughout your week. Uh, but with all that being said, my gosh, I cannot shuffle these cards properly right now, <laughs> Scorpio. I don't know what's going on with me. With all that being said, though, let's start getting into your reading for this week. I pulled already, Scorpio, your animal cards. Uh, for your uh, for your general energy this week, we have firstly number forty one equaling to five for numerology. Scorpio, so write that down to look up later. And this is the Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. So I enjoy this card a little bit. And you have it paired with the Tiger card where it says you are being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. So, Scorpio, when it comes to this connection, right, it doesn't have to be involving love, right? But it is a uh, dynamic of where it is pushing for you to uh, have a softer view when it comes to this person. I don't know what this means. Uh, have a softer view when it comes to this person. Uh, I do have this sense of where... I don't know if it's like a resentment coming in when it comes to this person or like that energy of where it's just like... Oh, they probably don't even care anyways, right? Well, no, don't tell yourself that, right? Because the, the, the nightingale spirit comes in where it's just like, they actually care. Why do you have these thoughts or why do you feel as if they don't care, right? Um, what's going on? And so when you have the tiger card coming in, trust, take the leadership role and trust that you're able to, capable of doing that. I feel like this is more so in regards to Scorpio, whatever it is that you're telling yourself in relation to this person and what's stopping you from taking action. So let's just say um, you're, you're really interested in this person and you want to ask them out on a date, right? Um, it is Valentine's Day, the day of this upload, right? Uh, you want to take them out, right? But then you tell yourself, it's like, oh, they're not interested in me anyways. And then the Nightingale spirit is just like, no, actually, they would be interested. They do care. And if you just took a moment and took charge at it and you took uh, your love life matters into your own hands, you would actually have something thriving, right? Or if you wanted to like work with this person or, you know, shoot your shot with this person, whatever capacity, it feels like you're convincing yourself that they wouldn't receive you when they actually would. So you kind of have to look in yourself and being like, why Scorpio do you um, have such an insecurity when it comes to trusting yourself, when it comes to realizing your own potential, right? What's going on there that has you just thinking so little of that, that you think this person wouldn't care about you, right? On your side of things, we have the Awakening card, number three, or number 12 equaling to three in numerology. This card says, look at things from a different perspective, a temp temporary standstill, and it's important to be yourself. I feel like the thing that we really want to focus on for this reading, Scorpio, is the part that it says it's important to be yourself. And that is because I feel like there's this essence of where you don't want to claim yourself. You don't want to acknowledge the beauty in yourself because maybe you don't think that it's beautiful or maybe you i don't know what your reasoning is right we all have our reasonings for not wanting to own up to our own beauty i'm guilty of that as well um but i feel like this awakening card comes in scorpio for you to let you know like kind of symphony uh symbolizing that i feel like if you want this connection to go deeper on some type of level you have to open your own heart up you have to 
accept yourself a little bit more be kinder to yourself stop thinking that you're too much or stop thinking that um you're too weird or not attractive enough for this person and just or just stop thinking overall that you're not lovable right that you're difficult to love or that you're difficult to understand it's like i promise you you're not scorpio i promise you that it's just a narrative that you're convincing yourself of right you only think you're as difficult like if you're telling yourself that you're difficult and unapproachable and all that then that's just how you're going to carry yourself right that's how you're never going to open yourself up to other opportunities because you're just you're choosing to make that a personality trait rather than an actually being a trait does that make sense you're treating it as a fact rather than when it's not and but because you're getting that result you're just like see it's a fact but it's just like it's only a fact right now or it's only happening right now because you're making it happening, right? There's that self-sabotage, right? Do you even want to be in a relationship, right? That's something you have to ask yourself. Are you prepared to be in one? If, they, if you are talking about a relationship, are you prepared to have this connection go to a deeper level? Are you prepared to open up? Are you prepared to see yourself in a better way? Like, you know, that's the question. Are you just prepared? Um, and, you know, if your answer is yes, then you have to ask yourself, do your actions speak of that? Do your actions represent that, Scorpio? Um, their side of things, they have the Ace of Fire or the Ace of Wands for them. And this is just a card of where the forward movement. Um, dare I say, Scorpio, they're probably this week um, going to make some type of presence in your life if you guys aren't speaking. But I see even, I just see forward action in them motivated in doing something this week in terms of this connection. And the Ten of Water or the Ten of Cups comes in as the uh, energy between y'all two, Scorpio, where this is saying a contented and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met, and trustworthy relationships. So this is definitely a process, um, Scorpio, for both sides to realize that you can trust the other individual, to realize that you guys are both on the same team, right? But I feel like you, Scorpio, kind of, I mean, this is a general read, but you do have, and so it could apply to both sides, Scorpio. But I, of course, I'm only talking to you because this is the Scorpio reading, but there is this calling to take a lead. Like, I feel like it's, you're needing to be responsible in the sense of like, beginning the opening up process so that way this person can come in and receive it does that make sense like this person can't go forward in this connection with this ace of fire until you start opening up and having like this awakening process and allow anything to come in right because if you aren't ready for it then you'll just find any excuse as to why this person shouldn't be in your life or why this person wouldn't accept you or what have you right uh, let's start pulling some clarifiers, though, for your side of things, what's going on with you. We have the King of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Hermit card coming in. Yeah, Scorpio, you're keeping everybody out. You're not opening up at all. In fact, you're clamming up by the moment. <laughs> you might even be clamming up even in this reading a little bit, right? Because... This King of Swords doesn't like to be seen. This King of Swords likes to be around animals. This King of Swords likes to be in their own thoughts. This King of Swords likes to feel like likes to convince themselves that they're hard to understand, that no human can ever get along with them, that only animals can get along with them, right? And that's just not the case. I mean, right now it looks like only animals get along with this King of Swords, but that's because he considered the environment. He's on a freaking mountain, y'all, right? Of course, he's only going to get along with animals when there's it's on a mountain hello you're that you're putting yourself in that type of environment i feel like there's like this level where you kind of have to acknowledge this stuff as well scorpio where it's like you know like this closed off like introverted energy is like what's going like of course you're not going to be understood scorpio of course people aren't going to be able to receive you or even go towards you because you know you're just so closed off and like so in your own world and just maybe even scared to open up that it's hard to receive you right but i see you wanting i see you wanting this connection i see you wanting this person to come forward but you're just so like it's almost like you want them to chase you almost though and i don't know like you know that's quite a mountain to chase someone up right that's quite a um task to ask someone to do right are you just setting them up for failure Right. I mean, this is my own thoughts, right? I'm going to, you know, I'm, before I continue stepping on toes, Scorpio, I apologize. I'm going to go on their side now, see what's up with them, see what their feelings are in regards to this connection. Four swords, ten of swords. Oh my gosh, ten of cups. <laughs> so, Scorpio, I don't know. Hmm. 
this four of swords and this ten of swords i don't know if they they're in their feelings regard like in their feelings in their heart about this connection and i don't know if it's because of like regret with this ten of swords but they still want something long term with you they want that family with you they have like you know ten of water this is ten of cups like they this as the energy between y'all two like their heart is in this uh scorpio they really want uh want to connect with you but it's almost like they don't know how to read you they don't know what to make of you they don't know what to how to even reach you almost i almost want to um pull some cards yeah i want to pull just a few more so scorpio <laughs> page of swords knight of swords and then the eight of wands I don't know if you, I don't, here's the thing, Scorpio, I don't know what's going on with you, but I see this person watching you, and I feel like this is really only the only thing this person can really do. I feel like they can't really reach you. I feel like they're always trying to chase you, right? I see this Knight of Swords, they're trying, but it's one of those things you kind of have to toss them a bone, Scorpio, right? You kind of have to, you know, if, for, if you want them to go up on this mountain to get to you, right, to reach you, then you kind of have to, like, toss them a bone on some level, right? Why did, why, like, why, like, I just want to know why you're in this, like, recluse, introverted state and making it difficult for this person to connect to you a little bit, right? I know I sound so confrontational, but I'm just more so just curious. Um, Eight of Wands comes in for them with a death and rebirth card so maybe before they weren't wanting to commit right scorpio maybe before they um they weren't ready maybe before you were kind of in and they weren't or maybe hmm it almost is as, as if like someone was like intimidated by the situation either him or, i say him either them or you and they ended up running away. And it was just like, now they kind of changed their mind, right? Because the Knight of Swords is kind of flip-floppy, wish-washy emotions, right? It's like, and it's just like one of those things, perhaps even Scorpio, you're just like, what are you doing? Maybe that's the thing, right? Maybe this is what it might be playing out as. Maybe you wanted something with this connection and like it just wasn't happening and you gave up on it. And that's when you ha went into like this being like, okay, like what's next? Two of Wands, like where do I go from here? Because, and you're just in like this by yourself energy, this hermit self, like introverted energy, trying to figure out your next game plan because it didn't work with this person in some type of way. Um, because maybe they weren't ready or whatever, right? But I see this person realizing their mistakes, right? And they're in their head and it's almost like they're being like, oh man, like I really messed it up. I really let this go, right? Um, and it's like through it almost is as, as if like scorpio you had to make them miss you a little bit so it almost makes sense as now as to why you went on this mountain almost wherever this mountain looks like to you whether it's just like getting distance from this person that it gave them a reason to like chate like that made them realize what it is that they're missing they were like taking you for granted almost perhaps scorpio before or your presence and they weren't really trying before they weren't really committing and now like they've had your eyes on you this entire time and they're just like well wait a minute my my views have changed i actually really actually want this ten of <laughs> one of the cards fell ten of cups is in in their hands as well and that's why they got start going forward with that ace of fire energy i like how this is panning out now I feel like it's starting to make more sense now. I wasn't under quite understanding, comprehending what was going on with you, Scorpio, and what this energy was about. But it almost seems like you took matters into your own hands when it comes to this connection and being like, you know what? Maybe you wasn't even in your, your intentions at first, Scorpio. Maybe your first intentions was you're just like done with this person. You just want to stay. But then you almost as if like later, like after like the dust settled, you're just like looking back and like, oh, are they like, are they coming after me? Or they, like, what are they doing? You know, how did they react? I wonder to me going up on this mountain right now that I'm missing, you know, I wonder if they've noticed that I'm gone for a week and I haven't responded to their text message, right? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, Ten of water, we're going to be pulling clarifiers. Well, I already pulled the clarifiers rather Scorpio for this, uh, card and we have the six of swords so yeah you had to walk away from this i feel and kind of wait this out a little bit temperance card bring things back into balance it was almost like a perhaps 
like something was a little bit too much. Something was a little bit overwhelming. Maybe someone just came in strongly at first and you just need that break. Or like perhaps it was just like someone's putting in more effort than the other side. And they were just taking advantage of it. There wasn't any growth from it. There wasn't any balance to it. So it was through you going away. Uh, not, I don't want to say unwillingly, but you weren't ha like, you. it's more like a didn't have to be this way energy, right? Temperance card. And the Emperor comes in as well. That leadership role, that proactive role. It's very interesting, Scorpio, like how controlled the situation feels throughout this entire reading. I don't know if you intended on this happening this way, like you anticipated how this all would pan out with this person. Um... But it seems like you have it under control, I'm going to be honest. Like, at first, I mean, y'all y'all saw, like, I wasn't really sure what to really make of this reading and, like, what to make of your side. Because I was like, what are you doing? Right? And maybe you're used to that, right? But I still, like, I still want to say Scorpio. Like, there's, it's good to um, make someone realize what it is that they're missing. But once they realize it's Scorpio, don't make them work too hard for it. Right? Don't make them work too hard for it. Don't expect them to be a mind reader, right? Just the very fact of them going, like acknowledging their mistake and going forward should be, I don't want to say it should be enough, right? I'm no, I don't want to tell you how to feel, but you know, like we're all here on this earth trying to just learn. We're all just only human, right? The very fact that they're like putting effort into this, right? Shows that they care, right? You don't want to make it too difficult on them because then it's at that point, right? Then it's just like, you have to ask the question, Scorpio. <coughs> I apologize. You have to ask the question as being like, okay, at what point is it someone like disrespecting your boundaries by like continuously chasing you, right? At what point are they just respecting your boundaries and being like, okay, maybe this person just doesn't want this anymore, right? You have to consider it from the other side. While it can feel really good to be chased and all that, Scorpio, and convince yourself of a narrative being like, oh, I know they didn't care, but it's, it's easy to do that. But it's harder to consider their perspective and be like, okay, I see them trying. Toss them a bone. You might be pleasantly surprised by what happen Scorpio but uh yeah if you enjoyed this reading Scorpio let me know in the comments below let me know which card called out to you the most uh and I would really appreciate it for you to give this video a like and subscribe if you found this reading giving you a sense of direction and then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages but until next time Scorpio I love you so much bye